What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my eight-quart ninja foodie. And today for you guys, I'm going to make beef short ribs. Now, shout out to my meat market. Um, I got these. It's under, under $5. It's less than a pound, and, um, you know, they're cut up. So they have the bone in them. And um, I just wanted to see how it would work in the, um, under pressure. So let's take them out, season them up, brown them up, put them under pressure, and get to eating. Now this meal is going to be completely Doug style. I've never made this before. I don't think. But I'm just going off the top right now. No cookbooks. I didn't Google anything. We're just going to make it. Gonna squirt some olive oil in there just to keep it sexy. You know what I'm saying, ladies? Fresh from Walmart, y'all. I just picked this up. Brand new. But got a little left in this one. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on there. Yeah, that should be good. I still got some left, but that's good enough. Because I want to try this. I've never tried barbecue seasoning before. So Definitely want to try it today. Oh, yeah. That smell good right there. All right, so sprinkle that on there nice and good. And I'll let you know when I'm finished if my, you know, salt, uh, black pepper, and garlic was overkill. I just put that just in case. Um, sometimes seasoning needs a little help, and so that's why I did it. Anyway, let's mix this all up. Alright, so now that they're seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and put my Ninja Foodi on sear mode. We have it on high. Let that go for about three minutes and then we'll throw it in there and brown them both sides up. Set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Alright, three minutes have passed. Hit the pot with some olive oil. Like I said, this is a half a pound, or a little bit over a half a pound, so it's not much, but have some fun with it. We're going to do, I don't know, four minutes a side, I guess. Three minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Alright, so this is at three minutes, so just do three minutes. I got one cup of water in here, and I'm gonna add apple cider vinegar, vinegar, a half a cup. My um, Walmart didn't have the regular beef one, so I got the roasted beef, and I've never tried that, so I'm gonna put like a spoonful in there and mix it up. up real good. Alright, let's shut everybody up. I didn't mix it up that good, but that's alright. I'm going to take my silicone tongue and kind of deglaze the bottom as best I can. Get all that goodness up. And you want to do that just to make sure you don't get any errors, burn errors or whatever. Smelling absolutely awesome. That apple cider vinegar and the bed and bouillon mix smells absolutely fantastic. And I'm guessing with the uh, barbecue seasoning too, completely awesome. Alright, let me put my pressure cooker valve on seal, which it is. Let me close it. All right. So now I'm going to hit pressure. Of course, we want high. I'm going to do 10 minutes, y'all, believe it or not. And I'm going to do a natural release of five minutes. OK, 
came to pressure real fast. So anyway, I'll be back in nine minutes. All right, ten minutes is just about up, and we're gonna let it natural pressure release for ten minutes. Then we'll manual release it. So I'll be back in ten again. <laughs> See it counting up. When it gets to ten, we'll be done. All right, we're just about at ten minutes, so I'm gonna turn it off and release the pressure. It's not that much because we let it. At least 10 minutes on its own. So guys, one of the great things about the Ninja Foodie guys is it's just so many options. So I'm not going to do it. But right now, if I wanted to, I can take these ribs out, these beef ribs, um, put it in a bowl, put some Sweet Baby Ray's or my favorite barbecue uh, sauce on there, um, drain the liquid out, and air fry them for about 10 minutes to make them even more crisp. These look nice and tender. Smells absolutely fantastic. So I'm good where we're at right now. Smelling super good, guys. One thing I, I tasted one. The only thing I would have done differently. I'll do this next time. And I usually do it, but I forgot. I would have added some red chips or some cayenne pepper. Or something like that. Just to give it some extra kick. But other than that, man, these taste absolutely fantastic, man. You don't even need to do anything further if you don't want to. You can, but you don't have to. Completely awesome. And that's all of them. Yep. Let's take the fat out of this gravy real quick. Y'all already know what it is. Link will be in the description. Put my pot to soak. See that? All the oil went to the top. Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook one time. All right, guys, this is what we got, and I am ready to eat. So without even wasting any time, check this out, y'all. See that wiggle? I'll take a bite first. You got it? All right. Mmm. I just took a piece and fell right off in my mouth. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Let's get some mash in there. Y'all try that. Got it? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. bone out it's just good y'all let's take some with the broccoli it's good for you mm. okay well as you know I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this but before I go I have to shout out my Ninja Foodie Nation group on Facebook. We just hit 20,000 members uh, yesterday, which was completely awesome. And um, because of that, I went ahead and gave away uh, 16 Ninja Foodie aprons. Um, I had a contest and I, you know, I just let the group say, you know, whatever they want on the apron. And I picked 16 winners and whatever they put. We're going to have it stitched into an apron. So isn't that cool? So shout out to my group one more, one more time, man. 20,000. We just hit that. Um, we just we just started the group in October, man. So it's just been an awesome ride. So if you got a Ninja Foodie or if you're thinking about getting a Ninja Foodie, don't be afraid of success. Join my group. Share your recipes. Or do a search and get recipes. 
That's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.